We are Onyx Imaging. We are the highest rated and most reviewed printer service center in Oklahoma. Hi, my name is John with Onyx Imaging. Today we're going to take a look at this HP M452 printer. And we're going to take a look at some common causes of paper jams. More specifically, common causes of paper jams because of issues inside of your paper tray. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and remove our paper tray. Set this off to the side here. I'm also going to remove the paper from the paper tray so we can get a better look at the bottom. So if I flip this up a little bit, you'll notice there's these, a couple of little adjusting tabs on three sides of this paper tray. And what those are for is for adjusting this paper tray for the exact size paper that you're using in this paper tray. So it's very important. There's little indications inside the paper tray with different paper sizes. And these little tabs adjust and have little markings on them that line up with those markings. So very important that these are set for the exact size piece of paper you're using. If you have it set for a smaller sheet of paper, it's going to squeeze that paper inside this paper tray. It's going to make it where it's way too tight and the printer's going to have a really hard time pulling the paper through properly. Also, it can cause some confusion with the printer where the printer actually thinks there's a smaller sheet of paper going through the printer. So you can get a lot of jamming errors that way. Uh, if you go the other way, if you leave, leave this set for a larger piece of paper than you're actually using, it can allow there to be too much room inside this paper tray. And again, making it very difficult for the paper to be pulled through the printer properly as well as the printer can have some confusion thinking there's a larger sheet of paper going through the printer than there really is and again can give you jamming that way. So very important, make sure there's a set for the exact size piece of paper you're using. In our case we're using the standard 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. So all of our markings are, or all of our indications are set for 8.5 by 11 or letter paper. Now the second thing we see quite frequently is an issue from adding paper into the printer. So one thing that happens quite frequently is you have a couple sheets left of paper at the bottom of your paper tray you go to add your new stack of paper on and what happens is a lot of people will set the paper down before you get to the back of the printer and push it back and what will happen is sometimes you get a couple sheets of paper that just curl up and kind of squeeze themselves behind your new stack of paper so what happens is that'll squeeze your paper into your paper tray and again cause it to be way too tight and again make it very difficult for your printer to pull paper through properly so it's always a good idea whenever you add paper to your printer, take a quick look, just quickly check all four sides and make sure it's a nice, clean, even stack on all four sides. And if you see any paper curled up anywhere, just take a second and remove that out and that'll go a long way from reducing the amount of paper jams you're having. Now the third thing we see quite frequently from just adding add paper in your paper tray is actually overfilling your paper tray. So if you look at those little adjusting tabs that we talked about earlier, there's a little tab that pokes inward towards your paper and what those are those are your maximum fill lines so you do not want to go past those or you also don't want to make it to where there's so much paper in here that you could barely press the edges of your paper underneath those what will happen is then you'll end up kind of mounting the paper here in the center and it makes the paper way too tall and way too close to the paper pickup assembly inside the printer and it has a really difficult time trying to, to pull paper so if you notice that for the first 15, 20 pages, the printer's really struggling, you're getting a lot of jams, but then it starts getting a little bit better and a little bit better. What's probably happening is you're overfilling this paper tray. The printer's really struggling trying to pull that paper through, and once you get below that, once it gets to its normal levels, then that's when the printer starts working better. So be very, very weary of overfilling this paper tray. Usually I say it's a good idea just to leave a small gap between your top sheet of paper and these maximum fill lines and that again will go a long way as far as reducing the amount of paper jams you're having. So if you've done all three of those and you're still noticing you're getting paper jams quite frequently and they're not doesn't seem to be slowing down then there's a good chance especially if you've had this printer for a while it hasn't been maintenance or you can't remember the last time it was maintenance that the rollers need to be replaced. So there are rollers that actually grab the paper and pull it through the machine and they do wear out and they do need to be replaced and if that's the case please feel free to reach out to Onyx we'd love to help take care of those for you also if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to reach out to Onyx we'd love to help answer those for you or if there's any way we can help supply you with any of your printer or office supply needs please feel free to reach out to Onyx we'd love to help supply those for you as well we hope you have a great day and you're back up and printing thank you thank you for watching if you're interested in how you can receive free labor on all of your service calls, as well as how to qualify for free printer upgrades, contact us today. We are here for all of your printer and office supply needs.